you're new to TikTok ads and feeling lost, or you've been struggling to see profitable returns on your campaigns like many job shippers, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your TikTok ad campaigns the right way in 2023. Through step-by-step -step guidance, I'll be revealing the best methods on how to launch a testing campaign that nobody talks about and how to scale up using a special strategy called the TikTok ads glitch method. These strategies will help you unlock incredibly low $1 CPMs and 10 cent CPCs on your TikTok ad account. Unlike most YouTubers that only discuss strategies without showing any results, I'm actually going to spend thousands of dollars during this episode on my TikTok ads so you can see how effective my testing strategy and the TikTok ads glitch method really are. If you watch this entire video and follow these steps, your TikTok ad account can go from looking like this to this. As you can see before, the CPMs were super high, ranging around 10 to 30 dollars and the cpcs range between one to three dollars which is terrible most new tiktok ad accounts start off this way which makes drop shipping difficult but after doing a proper warm-up on the ad account and running the glitch campaigns my tiktok ads became at least 10 times cheaper which is beautiful to see in fact it could be life-changing when you get results like this so be sure to stay tuned and join my discord community to stay up to date with methods like this before we begin with the tutorial i do want to mention that this video is part of a drop shipping challenge series i'm doing on my youtube channel my goal is to make ten thousand dollars in two weeks selling this product it's a heated eyelash curler while documenting every step of the journey so far i showed you guys the product research method that led me to this product i showed you how i built the website and i showed you how i made the tiktok video ads for this product if you haven't seen the last three episodes then i highly recommend watching them later on so that you can see how i came to this point now it's time to actually set up and scale the tiktok ad campaigns for this product so let's get started the tiktok ads testing strategy the first thing you need to do is sign up for a tiktok ad account and if you already have one i suggest you create a new one under a different email address before doing the methods i'm about to show you it's better to have a fresh start especially if you're experiencing high cpms with your current tiktok ad account click the first link in the description to sign up for a new tiktok ad account all right so now i'm inside my new ad account and i already topped up my balance using the manual payment method in my experience i get less spending issues that way don't choose automatic payments when they ask you while signing up because it sucks now let's get started on creating the testing campaign or what i like to also call the warm-up campaign as well because the main purpose of this campaign is to warm up your new ad account to unlock lower cpms and cpcs it's always a good idea to launch the campaign i'm about to show you first on every new ad account so i'm going to quickly go over the setup process first and then i'll explain why this strategy is so effective Everything I'm about to share with you is based on information from TikTok's official business help center. I've spent hours reading every article so you didn't have to and I discovered something that nobody else seems to be talking about on YouTube which is surprising to me and keep in mind I'll also be sharing the live results of my warm-up campaign after setting it up. Anyways let's begin creating it. So first hit create, choose custom mode, and choose website conversions. I'm gonna rename the campaign to warm-up campaign and I'm gonna leave everything else the same and click continue next i'm going to rename the ad group to warm up single ad group method i'll tell you what that means later on next i'm going to create a new pixel and select it and choose complete payment as your optimization event next go to select placements and choose tiktok only and then i'm going to turn off video downloads next i'm going to turn on automated creative optimization it's very important you do that for this method then i'm going to choose united states only with english and i'm going to select female because my product's obviously a female only product and for ages I'm going to select 18 to 55 plus for interest and behaviors. I'm actually not going to touch that. It's best to leave it empty for the daily budget. I'm going to set it at $250 per day. If you're on a tight budget, you don't actually need to set it up this high, but I selected $250 per day because I'm trying to hit 50 conversions on this ad group really fast. You'll see why later on for day parting. I like to select these specific times for the optimization goal. Leave that as conversions. And for the bid strategy, I'm going to do lowest cost, then hit next. I want to set up my custom identity so upload your business logo and then put your business name here so I'm going to upload six creatives three from Javify ads and three are going to be ripped videos that I edited try to make one really good ad text next I'm going to paste my website link and for the call to action button I'm only going to use the shop now button once that's done just hit submit to create the campaign now let me explain to you why this is the most effective warm-up strategy because there's a deep logical reasoning behind it the key to success with this strategy is to begin with focusing your ad spend on one single ad group 
I say that because TikTok officially states in this article that achieving 15 conversions is the most significant indicator of passing the learning phase. And after you pass the learning phase, the system will start delivering more stably now that it understands your ads and audience better. Keep in mind, TikTok specifically said they want 50 conversions on the ad group level and not the campaign level or the entire ad account. That's how their system is designed and most people don't even know that, which is crazy. Here's a visual graph of what the learning phase looks like. As you can see, each blue dot resembles a conversion, aka a Shopify sale. At first, the cost per action looks very unstable, but in post-learning phase, the CPA looks more stable and closer to the target CPA. Another really cool benefit of setting up your campaign like this is not only are you warming up your ad account properly, but you're also testing your ad creatives at the same time. Because remember, we turned on the ACL feature and imported six videos in this campaign. So by the time you pass a learning phase, you're also going to discover which video performs the best, which is a win-win situation. That way, later on when you're scaling or using the glitch method, you'll know exactly which videos to use or not in your future campaigns. I feel like every YouTuber teaching people about TikTok ad testing strategies are always telling their viewers to duplicate their ad groups like 10 times for example inside their testing campaign. I think that's bad advice because it's very inefficient to do that when you should be trying to get 50 conversions on a single ad group, but I will say the warm-up strategy I'm sharing with you in this video is logically more efficient and effective. By the way, if you find this information helpful, do me a favor and tap that like button and subscribe to see more high quality content like this. It's the first time throughout the series I asked for that. I appreciate your support on my small channel, so thank you. Anyways, now that you understand how this warm up slash testing strategy works, I'm going to let this campaign run without touching it until I reach 50 conversions. I'll update you guys when I get there. Okay, so after 5 days running this warm up campaign, I finally reached 50 conversions which means I passed in the learning phase and I definitely noticed that TikTok algorithm optimizing my ads better day by day. As you can see, my overall CPM is $13, my cost per click is $0.57 cents, and my CPA was around $23 which is actually pretty decent. I'll show you guys how much I made in just a sec but remember this is just a warm up campaign and it definitely served its purpose because in the beginning my CPMs and CPCs were terrible. The first day I launched this campaign, my CPC was $1.37 and my CPM was almost $24, which is kind of scary to look at, but I trusted the process and stayed patient. I didn't turn off my campaign or mess around with it. Now let's analyze the results of the six different ad creatives. So three of these videos came from Dropify ads and the other three are ripped videos that I edited. And as you can see, the videos from Dropify ads performed the best out of all and had the most conversions, which is good to know. So when I start scaling, up later on i'm only going to use this creative from now on as i said earlier this warm-up strategy is a win-win because not only did i pass the learning phase efficiently but i also discovered my winning creatives now let's see how much money i made throughout the five days running this campaign so as you can see i made two thousand eight hundred forty eight dollars which is pretty awesome just look how the sales were stair stepping up day by day due to the ads optimizing better over time i was literally spending the same amount of money on ads every day around two hundred $50 daily, yet my traffic and sales kept growing bigger and bigger each day without me increasing the budget. That is clearly showing you the power of this warm up strategy. TikTok does a great job optimizing when you have a successful product, a nice website, winning video ads, and a good strategy like I'm showing you here. It's not rocket science, and I literally documented everything from the start with this business. So if you have any questions, check out this playlist later on. Now, the big question is where do I go from here, and how can I scale up this business to the next level. 99% of advertisers scale with white hat strategies, but I prefer taking the red pill and scaling with a strategy called the TikTok ads glitch method because doing that is going to help drop my CPM to $1, which is absolutely crazy. And that's what the next chapter of this video is about, the TikTok ads glitch method. So you may be wondering, what is a glitch method? It's a black hat TikTok ad strategy that allows you to get very cheap CPMs and CPCs, even when you're targeting first year countries like USA and Canada 
Canada, you could drop your CPM to around $1 and CPC to around 10 cents with this method. That's literally 10 times cheaper ad cost than what 99% of advertisers usually pay TikTok. There are tons of people in my Discord group who made lots of money with this strategy. You could see it on the success channel. I'm gonna try scaling up this store using the glitch method. My goal is to reach $10,000 within two weeks and I only got a week remaining to reach that goal. You guys are about to see whether the glitch method still works in 2023. I'm very confident that it will because so far everything has been going smoothly. So let's set it up. Okay, so last night I turned off the warm up campaign and created the glitch method Excel file. All I need to do is import this file into TikTok to create the glitch campaigns. I'm not going to actually publicly reveal how to set up this method during this video. I'm just going to show you the results of this strategy. But if you want to learn how to set up the TikTok ads glitch method, I do have courses two hours long that teaches three different glitch methods step by step. I held nothing back in these courses. You can head over to ecomsniper.com to join the private discord. The link is in the description. Once you become a member of the VIP discord, you're going to have access to all the glitch method courses and many other features, tools, and chat rooms. So anyways, these campaigns are going to take an hour to upload. As you notice, this isn't the normal way of creating TikTok ads I know, but I'll be back when it's done uploading. Okay, so as you can see, I uploaded six glitch campaigns. Each campaign is going to spend $50 today. You could start with however many campaigns you want. You could even test out just one glitch campaign, but I went ahead with six since I need to reach 10k this week. I'll let you guys know what happens later. Today was very interesting. As you can see, the glitch campaigns performed very well. My CPM is $2.90 and my CPC is 26 cents. It's important to note that since this is the first time launching these glitch campaigns, I must go through a one time process of spending the initial $50 budget. So, in reality, this isn't even the full potential. Tomorrow is when the magic starts happening because that's when I can start bumping these glitch campaigns. So, basically, starting for tomorrow, I'm going to increase the budget on these campaigns by $10 three times. I only need to spend the $50 once on each campaign, but then every day after that, I'm only going to be spending $30 per day on each campaign. I do expect to see even lower CPMs and CPCs. Here's how much I made today. As you can see, I made $1,307 and check out that massive spike in the sessions. The reason why it looks like that is because that's how the glitch method works. It doesn't act like a normal ad that delivers slowly throughout the day. Basically what happened is I turned on all six glitch campaigns at the same time and I spent the $50 instantly and I got a huge rush of traffic and sales on my store literally in seconds. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing three $10 bumps on each campaign so I'm expecting to see three big spikes aka bumps of traffic and sales on these charts. Okay guys, this is getting really exciting because now I'm starting to see the actual effect of the glitch method. Today I spent $30 on each of these 6 glitch campaigns. So in total, I only spent $180 on Edge, which is less than yesterday and even less than the daily budget for the warm up campaign. However, I got 26 track sales with an average CPA of $6.92. My CPM today was $1.63 and my CPC is $0.15, cents, which is wild because when I first started, my cost per click was $1 dollar and 37 cents but now it's only 15 cents today the store made 1267 dollars but since i only spent 180 dollars on ads my profit margins are much bigger than before check out these three bumps on the chart each of these bumps resemble a fast rush of traffic and sales because remember i increased a lifetime budget by 10 dollars at three random times today and this is what happened it's literally glitched out for those who say that tiktok ads glitch method got patched or doesn't work anymore while well, this is solid evidence for you that it still works in 2023. If you're having any troubles, I highly recommend you join the VIP Discord to access my glitch method courses. So guys, I'm going to do a time lapse for you because I'm just going to be doing the same thing tomorrow and pretty much every day until I hopefully hit my 10k goal for this challenge. Enjoy the time lapse. Great news everyone, it officially hit two weeks since I started this challenge. And as you can see, the store hit over $11,000, which means I absolutely crushed this challenge. This chart is looking beautiful. In the beginning of it, you could see when I did the warm up campaign, and then I switched over to running glitch campaigns. The traffic and sales just went crazy. My overall conversion rate was 1.67%, and I got a total of 238 sales. I'll calculate the profit margins after I show you the TikTok ads. Here's 
here's what the overall campaign results look like. Let's hit the refresh button real quick. Throughout this whole journey, I spent $2,585 in ads. My CPCs for the glitch campaigns were as low as $0.12 cents, and my CPMs were as low as $1.16. Look at the huge difference between the glitch campaigns and the warm-up campaign. I saved so much money and made a lot more sales with the glitch method. If you look over to the right, my CPA shows to be about $7, but it's in fact a lot lower than that in reality because TikTok only tracked 210 sales when I actually got 230 38 sales on Shopify. Anyways, let's calculate the profit on this store. So my total revenue is $11,215.89. Let's minus $2,585.19 for the TikTok ads. Let's minus $1,489.88 for the product cost. The Shopify hosting and domain was $16. That leaves me with a total profit of $7,124.82. That's a 63% profit margin, which is crazy because the average profit margin for dropshipping stores is less than 30 percent i have never seen anyone on youtube literally document every step of their journey and achieve results like this so please smash the like button and subscribe if this video gets a thousand likes i'll try to scale the stores at fifty thousand dollars using other cool methods if you want to learn how to set up the glitch method and stay up to date with the latest dropshipping methods be sure to join the discord you'll have access to all my courses tools and chat rooms with the best e-commerce community you can sign up at ecomsniper.com the link is in the description and don't forget if you want to sign up for a new tiktok ad account use the link below thank you everyone who watched until the end i really appreciate it i only have a thousand subs so your support really helps grow my small channel i'll see you guys next time peace